name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Good evening and a very warm welcome. And also to those online sharing with us in our worship this evening on this Wednesday Eucharist. Of course, our intention in this Eucharist really is for the Middle East, for peace in Israel and for the people uh, and who are all have been affected terribly by the war that's going on. We pray in this Eucharist for peace and justice for the Middle East. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate in the presence of Christ in word and sacrament, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of our life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us your gift of faith, that forsaking what lies behind, and reaching out to that which is before, we may run the way of your commandments, and win the crown of everlasting joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Jonah. Jonah was very displeased and he became angry. He prayed to the Lord and said, O oh Lord, is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? That is why I fled to Tarshish at the beginning, for I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and ready to relent from punishing. And now, O oh Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, Is it right for you to be angry? Then Jonah went out of the city and sat down east of the city, and made a booth for himself there. He sat under it in the shade, waiting to see what would become of the city. The Lord God appointed a bush, and made it come up over Jonah to give shade over his head, to save him from his discomfort. So Jonah was very happy about the bush. But when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm that attacked the bush so that it withered. When the sun rose, God prepared a sultry east wind and the sun beat down on the head of Jonah so that he was faint and asked that he might die. He said, it is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, is it right for you to be angry about the bush? 
And he said, yes, angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, you are concerned about the bush for which you did not labour and which you did not grow. It came into being in a night and perished in a night. And should I not be concerned about Nineveh, that great city in which there are more than 120,000 people who do not know their right hand from their left, and also many animals? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The response to the psalm is, All nations shall come and worship you, O Lord. All nations shall come and worship you, O Lord. <clears throat> Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and in misery. Preserve my soul, for I am faithful. Save your servant, for I put my trust in you. All nations shall come and worship you, O Lord. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for you are my God. I call upon you all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. All nations shall come and worship you, O Lord. For you, Lord, are good and forgiving. Abundant in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer, and listen to the voice of my supplication. All nations shall come and worship you, O Lord. In the day of my distress, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor any works like yours. All nations shall come and worship you, O Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, you, O Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us, and do not bring us to the time of trial. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Out of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us now pray to our Heavenly Father. As we gather in worship tonight, we pray for your church throughout the world for its mission, ministry, and witness in our troubled world. Grant grace, Lord, to those who lead your church, to all bishops, priests, deacons, and all those, Lord, who lead in your church as lay members of the church. Lord, grant wisdom, grace, and understanding to all. We'll particularly remember tonight our Archdeacon Neil, who is the Bishop of Swindon Designate. Pray your blessing on him as he prepares for his consecration next month. Lord, imbue him with all the gifts and grace that he will need, Lord, to serve you faithfully in his new office. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Father, we remember our world tonight, especially in the Middle East, the people of Israel, and all those many families and communities, Lord, who have been terrorized by the Hamas insurgents, 
so many have lost many loved members of their families. And many thousands were also injured. But we pray for the people of Israel tonight and all those communities affected. I remember too tonight also the people in Gaza City many who have endured the bombing over the last few days. And we remember the innocent, the children on both sides, the women and the families, and all that have been traumatised. We remember particularly those who have been taken hostage, and we pray for their freedom immediately to be given to them. And for those hostages tonight, wherever they may be, Lord, that you would grant them grace, strength, resilience and protection. Lord, we pray for peace in the Middle East. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, hear right. our prayer. Father, we pray too for this parish church, for its life, for witness and service in this community. Continue to pray, Lord, for the work we do in this community, particularly remembering tonight our work with the bereaved. Lord, thank you to be for the initiative of space to grieve. We pray for all those, Lord, who gather in this place regularly to be comforted, strengthened, and encouraged in their loss. We give thanks to those who organize the event and to who make it possible for this very important space. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Father, remember tonight to all those who are in trouble, sorrow, need, or sickness. <coughs> remember any now on our hearts that we need and ought to pray for. And Father, among them we remember of our fellowship those who are sick William, Sean Harvey, Jeff Evans Priest, Matt Deming, Sally Price, June Hall, Emily Callum. Alan, Jane Keary, Marion and Chris, Joy Beckwith, James McGuire, Sister Caroline Price, Miles, Sylvia Wiltshire, Michael Borrow, and Jean. And Lord, remember tonight to those in long-term illness, especially Paul and Sylvia Townsend, Selena, Phil Rang, Mustafa Malaya, Alan and Yvonne Simons, Lorraine, and Susan Davies Jenkins. Father, surround all these, we pray with your loving ones. Lord, strengthen them in their troubles tonight. Grant them, Father, your healing and your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear yeah. our prayer. And Father, remember those who've recently died. We commend their souls to your keeping, especially Stephen Painter, Sylvia. Danny Dudger, Flora Nash, and David Corrigan. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and, and let light, light perpetual shine upon them. them. May they all rest in peace and, and rise in the glory. Merciful Father, accept, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. And we stand to share the peace. Jesus says, Peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also so with you. Is off each other's side of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our cup of salvation. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal Lord, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever, praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praise as Heavenly Father through your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave him thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup we make the memorial of Christ your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. Set through him our great high priest this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink his holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing, Blessing and honour and glory and, and power, power be yours forever and ever. Amen.
as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come. thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in the one bread. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Praise and thank you, O Christ, for this sacred feast. For here we receive you. Here the memory of your passion is renewed. Here our minds are filled with grace. And here a pledge of future glory is given. When we shall feast at that table where you reign with all your saints forever. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lord 
also with you. you. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and all whom you love this night and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In, in the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.